Yes, welcome back to the Smithy Shop. Today we're going to be touching on some more adjustments on a machine. We're going to be going through how to adjust the gibs on the machine. When you look real close at this table right now, you notice I can wiggle it back and forth. Okay, I've got a loose gib in this table. So we're going to tell you how to take these gibs out, clean them, polish them, adjust them, and put them back in. Okay, now so we can have a little more room to work, I've got the mill head unlocked. We'll just swing it back out of the way. And I'll move the whole table down this way so we can see it a little better. We're going to be working right along here with these five set screws and nuts. I've already loosened the nuts on these. Now we're going to go in and just back these set screws out oh, about a quarter inch. Okay? Because we're going to take this gib entirely out of the machine. Okay. After you have the, all the five gib screws loosened up, just come in here at the end of the gib, push on it. You can reach around back here and you can pull it right out. This is what our gib looks like. You notice the five indentations down the back. They correspond to the five set screws. That's what holds the gib in place. And as you tighten it in, it brings it in closer to take out that slop in the table. This is the side that actually does the sliding. This is the side we're going to work on a little bit. If you clean this off and you looked at it under a microscope, you'd see tiny peaks and valleys. What we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of 500 grit paper here with a little WD-40 and we're going to remove the peaks. Leave the valley so you have a place for the oil to flow. Just put your gib down here, give it just a little rub, not much. You're not trying to polish it, you're just trying to take off those little peaks. That way you can get the gib tighter without it binding. Okay, let's wipe this down. Now you may not be able to feel a big difference in it, but just that little bit will really help a lot. We're getting ready to put this back in, so let's put a coating of oil on it. There we go. I love those oil cans with the flexible spouts. Let you get it anywhere you want to get. Spread that oil out real good. Okay. Get our gib around the correct way. And we'll slide it into place here. There we go. I'll figure out which way is right. Goes in. And now our gib's in place. Okay, what we're doing now is we're running these set screws back in. And we'll run them in until they're tight. Make sure that nut's backed off. Run in until it's tight, and then back it up about a quarter turn. We'll go in and we'll do our fine adjustments after we get all of them down and into place. The reason we're tightening them down tight first is to squeeze out any excess oil, because this is going to be a very precise fit here. Okay, now let's go back and do the fine adjustments on these gibs. We're going to start with the middle one. Okay, when you tighten it down, you're going to find that this table becomes harder to move. Tighten it down to where it moves hard. Back it up until you get that nice free movement. Just barely back it up to that point. Come in here, hold the set screw, and tighten that down. And check it again. Okay. We're going to repeat the same process. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth, working from the center outward until we get all five of the gib screws tightened. Okay, now that you have your gibs adjusted, and in our last video we adjusted the backlash, so this axis here, you'll find it moves nice and free, but it doesn't just sit there and spin. There's a little bit of preload on it to keep that accuracy. So your backlash is just about gone as you can get it, and you have no movement in your table. Your y-axis adjustments are done. Now let me show you the x-axis adjustments, the tailstock, and the tool post gibs. Those other three things also have gibs on them. Okay, you now know how to adjust the gibs on your machine. The more of the adjustments and tweaks like this we do, the more accurate your machine and the more accurate your projects. I want to thank you for coming into the Smithy Shop and watching this video. I hope it's been 
educational and informative for you. Keep an eye out for our other videos that will be coming out soon. So this is Dave saying goodbye from the Smithy Shop. Until next time.